Leo, hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of the 10th to the 16th of January 2022. These are general readings only, just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watchers are welcome. So, Leo, let's see what we have here. Overall, Seven of Wands, someone's not giving up here on something or someone, not quitting. Maybe not quitting on yourself, it may be on something or someone out here, but persistence. You're plugging away here, seeing this through. Past energies, you had the Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Wands, Three of Cups, yeah, something to celebrate here, some good successful outcome here. and even that successful outcome maybe in just leaving the past all these hurdles and obstacles that you've had to overcome to get onto clear footing clear solid ground here that wheel of fortune able to push you forward now and something to celebrate out of that love that present energies five of cups six of wands the magus celebrating this victory right in the core of your reading Okay, you this emotional loss, there's some sort of sadness that you're possibly going through. It may be there's um, knowing there's other loving energy around you and it may be the sadness that um, has come from all these hurdles that you've had to overcome back here. Knowing there's other loving energy around you, not letting others tell you to hurry up and move on, but you have that victory, you have the magis, connecting ways to move forward there. And um, as I said, in the core of your reading, victory overall, that persistence may be paying off right there. Future energies, gonna say it, Ten of Cups, Prince of Cups, Ace of Cups. Could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio, but there's love here, <laughs> whether you know it or not. A lot of emotional support around you, with that Ten of Cups, emotional happiness and stability, you may be offering love to somebody, they may be offering love to you. That persistence may be paying off right here, but there's a whole brand new chapter when it comes to some sort of love. It may be an existing relationship, it may be somebody brand new, but it's here. So Leo, let's see what the clarifications have. Could be a job you love, could be a home you love, could be love love. Right, Leo, let's see what the Seven of Wands has overall for the week. Seven of Cups, Two of Cups, King of Cups. When it comes to love, it may be about exploring your options here. You may be somebody's option, you may have options when it comes to love. But again, somebody's not giving up, somebody's not quitting here. Okay, you're in control of your emotions and um, possibly this love that is here, it's talking about not being overwhelmed with the options that are available. Well, past energies, Wheel of Fortune. You have the Five of Swords, Judgment, Princess of Cups. Might have been a bit of a battle going on back here. Somebody may have been judging you. Um, quite a bit of judgmental energy right there with that battle as well. Like banging your head against a brick wall. And possibly when it came to love in the past. Um, could have been a younger energy, a child. I'm going to say a pet, but... Um, I think you may have been butting heads with um, a younger energy here because somebody was actually quite judgmental towards you. Wow. Nine of Wands. Wow, the Devil, the Wheel of Fortune, which we just had, and the Hermit. Super energy with the three major arcanas there. Could be dealing with Capricorn or Virgo. But yeah, those hurdles and obstacles you've had to overcome may have been quite negative, quite toxic energy around you. Doing some soul searching, seeing light at the end of the tunnel and getting that wheel moving full steam ahead onto bigger and better things. But um, leaving that toxic energy 
back there in the past that could be the obstacles that you've had to overcome three of cups you have the ten of cups knight of swords three of wands having some clarity here a lot of emotional support around you ready to take action maybe ready to take action and break free from that devil energy right there almost like a wake-up call with that three of wands having that light bulb in your head moment go off and um, you may be actually seeing something or someone not in such a bright way as what you thought and um, ready to take action to break free of that and it may bring a certain amount of emotional sadness or grief here with this five of cups present energy wow yeah double dose five of cups queen of wands four of cups and you may be very focused on that loss um, even though it was a wake-up call back here you may still be focused on what's what's lost from there you can't just switch things off just like that okay but you have got this queen of wands that confidence you've got that determination to break free of this kind of energy and explore other options that are around you and see the other love um, loving energy that is around you at this time and victory claim this victory in the core of your reading ace of cups four of wands the hierophant so yeah a new chapter when it comes to love bringing in that stability possibly a step up in commitment possibly marriage proposal if you're it's an existing relationship moving in together but also could possibly be something or someone brand new here doing it your way not going to cave into peer pressure of others telling you what to do now um, and we had that judgment back there in the past and it's actually now look here I'm doing this my way um, following your gut instinct right there but there's victory and there's stability and this whole brand new beginning and you have the magus the ten of swords ten of pentacles nine of cups I think that is just saying success and breaking free of this painful cycle this negative cycle that you've had back here it's been a painful journey and it's done it's done it's wrapped up completed there and I think just success and being able to wrap that up there again there's that emotional support around you you go from this nine of cups into the ten of cups down here for future energies and I think being aware that that um, emotional energy and love and happiness is around you. We clarify this Ten of Cups, Four of Pentacles, High Priestess, Six of Swords. I think that you felt bound and changed to some sort of energy that you're unable to release here, whether it's something or someone, but movement forward, even if it is done in secret to start with. You lift your guard up quite a bit what you've been through back here you may be quite um, have that wall up around you but it's just because you're not wanting to be overwhelmed by too much given you had a double dose of the five of cups there as I said getting through things like that in your own time and in your own process rather than others forcing you to move on good moving on in your way with that six of swords Prince of Cups ace of wands two of pentacles three of pentacles yeah and so this whole journey begins this whole new chapter begins again it may be an existing relationship it may be somebody brand new that is offering love here and um yeah getting some balance back getting that alignment back getting control of the situation back stepping up stepping into the spotlight taking the lead putting some plans into place of where this whole new journey is is heading and you finish with this ace of cups so all about these new beginnings nine of wands seven of swords seven of wands which you have overall for the week still got that persistence there you haven't given up you haven't quit here it is right here but being able to leave that deceptive energy in the past those hurdles and obstacles that you've had to overcome to get onto that clear path ahead whatever this new journey holds for you with that ace of cups we're clarifying again you're not giving up you're not quitting that persistence is right there 
So let's see what the universe has to say, Leo. Get the Two of Swords, the Empress, Seven of Swords again, walking away from that deceptive energy. We just had that in clarification. It's behind you. You're able to pick up what serves you and move on forward. Being aware that that energy was happening around you is a big thing. Being very intuitive, following your own heart, following your gut instinct, being aware of what's going on around you rather than being stuck in the crossroads energy with that Two of Swords, um, having that clarity of where you're heading towards, taking action on moving forward right there. So Leo, let's finish with the Star Temple Oracle. You get number 33, the Sacred Orchard, co-create. My abundance mindset attracts endless blessings and your whole mindset of not giving up, not quitting, attracts those endless blessings. Love it. So that's what I have for you for the week. Do hope it helped. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye.